major league stock car racing. NASCAR's Winston Cup. There's nothing quite like it on the international sports scene. On December 14, 1947, Bill France Sr. organized a meeting at the Streamline Hotel in Daytona Beach, Florida to discuss the future of stock car racing. It was on that day the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing, NASCAR, was conceived. First race was held on February 15, 1948 on a beach road course in Daytona Beach, Florida. This year is the 27th season of the Truck Series, which started in 1995 and has seen 115 different winners and 18 different series champions. Well, the Chevy Pace truck is about to lead them out of turn four, and we're ready to go green. And the Super Truck Series by Craftsman is about to get its first official lap of competition in front of a packed house here at Phoenix International Raceway. Who will lead the first? This is a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado race truck built at GMS Racing. Throughout the race season, the 26 Lyuna race team will use four different types of purpose-built race trucks to compete on super speedways like Daytona and Talladega, oval tracks like Darlington, Martinsville, and Phoenix, dirt tracks like Knoxville, and road courses like Circuit of the Americas and Watkins Glen. The truck is built on a steel tube frame with a full safety roll cage and is powered by a 6.49 liter naturally aspirated fuel-injected Chevrolet LS-based V8 race engine. Produces approximately 700 horsepower and 530 foot-pounds of torque. The power is transferred to the rear wheels through a four-speed transmission. The engine is fueled by Sunoco Green E15 race fuel, which is 98-octane race fuel, blended with 15% ethanol. And the truck has an 18-gallon fuel cell capacity. On most trucks, the fuel filler is located on the left side of the truck at the rear. On the road course truck like this one, when we race at a track where we pit the truck from the right side like at Watkins Glen or Canadian Tire Motorsports Park, the fuel filler is located on the right side of the truck. The truck weighs 3,530 pounds with the driver in a full fuel load. The truck has an independent front suspension, solid axle rear suspension, and is steered through a power-assisted recirculating ball steering box. The truck rolls on 15-inch wheels and Goodyear Eagle race tires. There are three types of tires that we use depending on the type of track. The series races on a variety of disciplines, including two races on dirt tracks, three races on road courses, three races on super speedways over a mile and a half, and 10 races on intermediate sized oval tracks, which are a mile and a quarter to a mile and a half in length, and four races on short tracks less than a mile and a quarter in length. On oval tracks and road courses and dry weather conditions, we use slick tires. On road courses and wet weather conditions, we use a treaded tire designed to channel the water away from the contact surface. And on dirt tracks, we use a block treaded tire designed to provide off-road traction. Driver safety equipment includes a fire retardant suit, underwear, gloves and shoes, a full face helmet with head and neck restraint device, a full containment carbon fiber seat, and a seven point restraint harness. The truck has an onboard fire suppression system in the event of a fire, as well as a window net, roll bar padding, and a collapsible steering column to help protect the driver in the event of a crash. In 2021, the series has 22 scheduled events from February to November. Races are broken down into three stages with championship implications in each stage determined by points collected based on finishing position. The winner of each stage is awarded one playoff point. The winner of stage three is awarded the race win and five playoff points. The top 10 drivers after 15 regular season races will advance to the playoffs, which consist of a seven race, three round playoff format, concluding with the championship four race at Phoenix Raceway to crown a champion. September's race at Darlington Raceway will mark the ninth race for the series at the South Carolina track, which has seen six different winners. The race will consist of a total of 147 laps. Stage one and two will be 45 laps each, and stage three will be 57 laps. Canadian Tire Motorsports Park is a high-speed circuit which opened in 1961. It comprises of 10 turns and several dramatic elevation changes that confront drivers with exciting variety of challenges on every lap. The Truck Series has made seven starts with seven different winners at two and a half mile road course in Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada. In place of Canadian Tire Motorsports Park in 2021, the series will make the second start of the season at Darlington Raceway, known as the Lady in Black. Since 2001, the series has made eight starts with six different winners. The track opened up 71 years ago in 1950, one of the oldest venues on the circuit. The uniqueness of the 1.3 mile track is all in the construction of the racetrack. 
has a unique egg-shaped design and turns one and two have 25 degrees of banking and turns three and four have 23 degrees of banking. I can't lie, I love both racetracks, Canadian Tire Motorsports Park and Darlington Raceway. As circumstances as they lie, you know, I'm super happy we're heading to Darlington. I love Darlington, but it, something lays special with me in Mossport Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. Uh, I just love that track. I love that road course going down Andretti back stretch. It's so fast. The elevation there is crazy. Uh, it's so much fun. I, I really hoped we would go back there last year and even this year. But hopefully there's always next year and uh, we'll see you there. But with that said, we'll uh, put Lion and Victory Lay at Darlington. On September 5th, join me and the Lion Racing team at Darlington Raceway.